Hey y'all, I'm Frank Foster and you're watching the Mike Stan King TV. Okay, we're this project right now for uh, Frank Foster. And we got this from Sweetwater's new uh, heavy duty mic stand. I've used it before with uh, Lil Texas and uh, Brian Martin. These are nice, they come with the uh, boom arm and everything, it's heavy duty. It's not gonna break on stage. And we're gonna kinda take that and uh, form a base around it and do kind of a metal base and then do some cool artwork on it and uh, get it out to him. On this episode of the Mike Stan King TV, country artist Frank Foster with custom build reveal interview and exclusive performance of the way it was subscribe today youtube mike stan king tv <laughs> my goodness Check that. out. that's incredible man you know, this, of course when it was raining we were staring down yonder that old weeping willow across the road down there by uncle hops Lord, it was soaking up every single drop. All back when it was away, and it was. Yeah, guys, ready for uh, Frank Foster? We had got a flat black on there, so we're gonna go ahead and do his layout, do some designs for him, one for his uh, record label that he owns, and uh, we're gonna do some kind of cool panel on here with a kind of cowboys kind of thing, with also with the oil rig. He was an oil rig oil rig order for a long time. I'm going to kind of do kind of a silhouette type of thing right here and probably something else on this other side. Well, I'm going to figure out what we're going to do yet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of laying out some of the graphics that we're going to do and then we can start going and painting them in and be kind of a cool thing for And we might do something for the riser as well. I got some ideas for his, uh, for his logo to attach on here. And uh, so we're going to start working on that right now. Be kind of cool. Frank Foster. Hey, this is Josh Miranda, and you are watching the Mike Stan King TV. So we're using this opaque, so airbrush paint. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, kind of do these stars right here. So the stars are gonna be white, and this will all be blue around here. And because on the back side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a mural on the back, kind of like a cowboy with a uh, oil rig in the background at sunset or something like that. Be kind of cool. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and get this kind of situated here. I'm kind of making it look like there's panels, so all this red tape will come off and it'll be kind of like a panel. So I think it's kind of something kind of haven't done in a, haven't done yet, so I just kind of want to keep doing something different. Okay, let that cure and uh, we'll go on the next phase. Yeah, I went ahead and started painting. This is going to be kind of the sunset look here. He was, you know, he's an oil field worker, so kind of did that. What we're going to do is going to go ahead and put some, uh, like, kind of grasses, I think, in there. Just to kind of give it a little bit of kind of cool look to it. And we're going to do some black here, some transparent. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just kind of, kind of brush in some, like, grasses or something like that. Trying to give it some kind of like foreground here. Like on the beaches, you know, like grasses. Okay, maybe go over here and do the same kind of thing, just kind of frame it out. There you go. Just kind of gives a little bit of something extra to it, and uh, kind of touch them up here. Like I say, once we get done with this, we're gonna do the whole sepia tone over the whole thing. That way, it'll give it kind of a it'll kind of match the rest of it.
There you go, we're done with that. So that's kind of cool. Got the oil rig there. Kind of excited about it. It's kind of cool. And like I said, we're going to do some cool stuff to it. Once we get done with the rest of this, we'll kind of peel this tape off. Make kind of a cool border. And uh, what we're going to start doing here is uh, work on this logo here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to do a gold. And I got this gold paint. I don't have right now. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Okay, we stop for a second. Look at the gold thing. <laughs> okay, this Frank Foster. What we're gonna do is just go ahead. I'm just gonna use this here. My toothpick. This kind of helps me kind of line up everything. Just get the kind of edge that we need. This is some kind of new gold paint, so we're gonna. Play with this a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of trace on what I put on. Alright, transferred his logo on there, so we're just kind of going over what we... we already done. That's it, I think it's going to be kind of cool. We'll probably hit with some gold flake as well. Just give a little more sparkle to it. Yeah, so what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, kind of outlining everything. I kind of use a toothpick is because of the finer point. And the brushes, I'm still getting used to the fine points. But uh, it kind of works well for me. It kind of spreads the paint out a little bit better. And as you can see, we're doing the Frank Foster logo here with the, in gold. And then uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and covering some uh, gold flakes so I kind of help to uh, make it sparkle just a little bit and that's what we're doing here shortly like I said I just kind of well I just kind of learned to do it's kind of taught myself you know how to do this I'm not a graphic artist by any means but uh, I guess I'm a little artist here so there's a gold flake going on there and uh, it's be kind of a cool effect you know on stage and all we do is kind of put it on there and just kind of brush it off after it dries and it kind of picks it up and then here, what we're going to do is basically doing his uh, record label he has, Lone Chief Record, and uh, just kind of kind of align with a paint pen. I found, I found these paint pens are kind of cool. It allows you to do a lot of cool stuff with it, little fine points. And it's, uh, it's applying paint, so it's kind of a cool thing. It's a new thing I kind of found, and I'm trying to do a little more using that because it's, it's a little bit easier than uh, using a brush, but it kind of does the same effect. So it's kind of pretty neat, just real fine lines with it. And I'm pretty happy with how they're uh, turning out. And this was a fun one for Frank Foster. I'm a huge fan of his. And uh, so I'm able to do something cool for him and surprise him is going to be pretty awesome. So can't wait to see the, see him and uh, see his reaction. So doesn't really know what's going on with this. Kind of just kind of gave him an idea. And uh, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just kind of forming it here. I'm turning in some panels. And like I say, he's an oil rig guy, offshore oil guy. And uh, so I kind of did that with the other... Other part and I kind of show a cowboy kind of looking out at the oil rigs on the uh, horizons with his uh, chief uh, logo and as you can see it's kind of, kind of turned out really good it was kind of a nice challenge logo to do but uh, I love doing crazy stuff like this and as you can see it just takes a lot of time to kind of form, form the face of it and uh, you know do all the uh, feathers and all that so it's kind of cool something means a lot to him and uh, I'm glad to be able to do it
Music Road trying to tell me how to be a country boy. Excuse me, sir, but have you lost your mind? You take your shiny shoes and your suit and tie and tote your ass back north of the Mason Dixon line. And don't forget your pants, cause I ain't gone. Got done and um, put some gold flake over it. Just let it to get into the paint and cure. And then once it gets done, we'll kind of brush it off and we'll see what we got. It's, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And then uh, once it gets all together, it's gonna be pretty, be pretty killer. So pretty excited about it. I think it's all gonna come together real nice. And then what we're gonna do is with the uh, the gold. Also, we're gonna go ahead and take this tape off. And we'll retape it. And we're gonna do some. Uh, Make this making some panels out of gold. I think I gold that, gold that, each panel. So it'll be on its own separate panels. It'd be kind of different, something cool. And uh, let me just let this stuff cure and uh, we'll get back to it and see how it goes. Hi, I'm Joe Bonzel with the Oak Ridge Boys, and you are now watching the Mike Stan King TV. Okay, we put the uh, gold on here. We're just gonna go ahead and brush it off and uh, let's see, let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna be really nice. A couple, a couple spots we're gonna go ahead and retouch up, but uh, it's kind of expected. So let's just see what this does here. Like I said, it's not going to be overly sparkly. We don't, not really trying to do it with this one, but. Like I said, we'll kind of touch up a little more with some paint and uh, do a little more sparkle, but uh, it's going good. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And then we'll take off the tape and we'll start to uh, to kind of line the whole thing with gold as well. So, oh yeah. Cool, looking. that's good. This is Frank Foster's, we got this. This is a kind of record label right there. His logo and also a mural of an oil rig and cowboy. He's an oil rig guy for many years. And uh, the American flag kind of in the background, all hand painted. And we're gonna bring this out to Frank Foster and uh, Get his reaction, see what he's all about. And let's get, uh, first let's get Rufus. Rufus, what do you think? Come here, what do you think? You like it? Well, kind of walking around, standing by it, so there's gotta be something. You smiling? No. Anyways, let's go check out Frank and uh, get his reaction. Hey, we're here with Frank Foster. Getting a new mic stand to him, we just we made for him and uh, out of his place in uh, outside Nashville. And let's go ahead and give this to you. Yeah, Brad, looking forward to it, man. I'm excited. Oh my god, my goodness, Check that. It out. that's incredible, man. Oh, you got the offshore thing in there, <laughs> dude. Is that cool, <laughs> dude? Is that cool? Is that awesome, dude? That's incredible. There's just a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of gold in there. I love it, man. Got the yeah. American flag backdrop in there too. Yeah, I remember we were talking about doing Gosh. something. It was like that was just Dude, this is incredible, man. Isn't that crazy? Thank you so much. But the funny thing is my my sound guy, 
it's like three or four shows ago. He's like, man, I got to get you a new mic stand. I said, don't worry about it, dog. I, <laughs> I got one. Coming. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Yeah, this is, dude, it's I love It's pretty sweet, that. huh? I it's love it. It's all hand that. painted. It's uh, unbelievable. I was like, dude, let me do, no, you do the oil rig. So I was like, let me put that dude, in there, you know? That is talent, man. This, Isn't that cool? Dude, I'll take nice good, finish I'll take, on it. I'll take great care of it, I promise you. So I was like, yeah, I did that. I was like, man, this is, this is pretty good. Dude, that's incredible, man. <laughs> That is incredible. You're welcome. Thank you. People so got to flip much. out for that. You're going to start showing me. I know. Like, the thing is, the is world. when you walk off stage at the end of the show, somebody's going to try to snatch it. You know? Grab I, it first. That's I know. That's what you did. That's what I've you did with Colt. So just gra got, grab it first. Yeah, I've got this old stool that I've been toting around for years at my drummer. Uh, he burned my logo into it. And people try to jack that thing all the time. So it'll be about yep. like that. Just tell me that's the sound guy first yeah. thing grab. I'll chain that into the drum riser so they can't haul it. <laughs> yeah, grab it off. So. That's awesome. Man. So how's everything going? Good, going good? Everything's going good, man. I had a big year. 23 was good to us. And uh, we're already planning for 24. Uh, Going to go out and headline our own tour like we always do. But we've already got some dates with Travis Tritt. And nice. Some things like that in the works. So, man, we just out here still got them fooled, man. Still <laughs> that's doing good. So you're starting to wind down for the season and get ready for it? We are. Man, Next year, holidays, and I got a cruise to go on. Um, not sure when it's going to air, but uh, December the second through the seventh, I'm on a blue collar cruise, which is we put our own cruise on. The fans get to come out. Nice. We get to go see some warm weather for a little bit. Come back, got one in Baton Rouge, and then I'm done until the middle of January. So, yeah, kind of hanging out. Man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Been a good year though. Well, it's gonna be a better year in 24 with toting that bad boy around. Look at that thing. That thing's awesome. People are jealous. Dude, I can't, I can't <laughs> Isn't believe it. Isn't that cool? It. I cannot believe it. Feel free to post it up. Yeah. But, uh, you check out Frank Foster, all your socials. Yeah, man. At the Frank Foster on Instagram. Uh, same thing on uh, Frank Foster Music on Facebook and FrankFosterMusic.com if you need your t shirt. There you go. <laughs> t shirt or a tour schedule. That's awesome. where you can find all that at. Brad, incredible, man. Man, I appreciate Ali, it. Ali, thank Thanks you so much. So much. much. Big, big fan. So. Absolutely, man. That's awesome. Fantastic. Dude, my wife's gonna flip when she sees this. Is that cool? That is so cool. Like this, I was like, man, he's gonna like that. Dude. And I just kind of did a sepia tone over the whole thing, but kind of dulled it down. It's weird, it's like when you when you ask me what, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, what what might you like? And then, you know, I throw you an idea and it's like, he comes back to this, it's like, unbelievable, dude. <laughs> unbelievable. So good. <laughs> dude, I love this. Isn't awesome. Yeah, yeah. I got I think about them boys every night when I'm up on stage. People ask me all the time, you miss being out there? I was like, no, but I miss my buddies. Yeah. But I don't miss the work. <laughs> what, two weeks on, two weeks off, right? Yeah, I did 14s. Oh, yeah, 14 on, 14 off. Or Dang two on. on, two off, whatever people call it. But <laughs> I call it work. Right. So that's why I started playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me there. Oh, man. Brad, thank well, you, man. Well, you're welcome. Um, Somewhere 
And I got a hundred on between the front porch and the mailbox And this, of course, when it was raining, we were staring down yonder That old weeping willow across the road down there by Uncle Hobbs. Lord, it was soaking up every single drop. All back when it was away. thing can you um you say hey this is frank foster and you're watching the mike stan king tv absolutely do one there we'll do one there right. that way we'll... hey y'all this is frank foster and you're watching the mike stan king tv all right here we go yeah. cut that's all right <laughs> here we go you good